Minnie, why are you in there? He literally has the hose on him. Can I have it back, please? Thank you, Moose. So, I wanted to tell you guys that we have a new pet that decided to join us here at the farm. Hey, farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to today's video. We are in the midst of working on a new part of our fence, which you guys will see very soon because it's continuing on the series of our like improving things around the farm. But we have some other exciting news to share in today's vlog. We're just gonna vlog it out today. One of my favorite things to do if you guys are excited for today's video. Make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to post notifications. Shout out. Are you guys? Let's get right into this vlog. I wanted to show you guys some things that we've done since my last like working on the farm vlog. And if you guys remember a long, long time ago, we got rid of an oak tree that was right here, pretty much right when we moved into the property. And then it was just dirt forever. And we finally decided that the grass is not gonna grow back on its own. We've tried seeding it, but instead we have finally sodded it. So this is our, what's left over of sod, I should say. And then we started on this side here. And this is what was filled with gravel. We put it here to help with drainage. And this is all the way back from when we did the barn, cause this is the base of my stall. So there's that. Hi, Miss Junie. Guys, so I want to show you really quickly, but you guys have never before seen this concrete pad here. Jim, get out of the view. There was a lot of metal material on this concrete pad that's in this pasture. If you guys remember that, you guys know that it's been in here for a really long time, but it is completely gone. So now we have a concrete pad here and we're still trying to figure out if we tear up the concrete if we put their water troughs on the concrete or if we make a run-in shelter or something like that we do not know what we want to do with this concrete pad so if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do what do you think we should do june junie then let me know in the comments down below because i'm really unsure we've debated making like a little equipment barn for my skid steer and stuff and then making the other side um like the run out so we don't know but it's here and it's completely cleared so that's very exciting what do you think we should do blaze you sleeping? And in my last working on the farm vlog, you guys know that we did this fence right here behind me and I absolutely love it. This has been one of my favorite improvements to the property that we have done like thus far since the barn, of course. So we have it coming off the barn and then this gate that we needed so badly and it has been so convenient. So I'm gonna go out here really quick and show you guys how convenient this is. It's just so nice having this now. I never knew we needed it so badly. We are going to be putting a sure latch on it so it becomes easier. I've just totally gotten over chains like this, you guys. I don't know how anybody does it on their farm with chains ever since having sure latches. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie girl. Do you like it? And the goats are finally able to be back here again because you guys know we had all of the fencing out and it's all now fixed. So Minnie and Willie are out here. And Dinky, you bossing your little goats around. So she is definitely happy to be back with her goat friends and they are really liking being back here. And it's super nice that we know that they're secure in here and even this right here because if you guys remember this dreaded panel that's now on the ground, we use that as the gate for so long and it was such a hassle picking up that gate. So I am so happy that we no longer have to use that. We still have some cleaning up to do in this back pasture. That's why we haven't let the horses out back here yet because there's some wire and stuff that the goats don't really mess with, but the horses love to mess with everything. Dinky, you better be nice to him. She loves them. They love each other. They do this all day long. Mm. Minnie, what's he doing? Are you going to push Minnie around now? Dinky, it's okay, Minnie. You leave those goats alone. Stop being this way. What are you doing in the water trough? Guys, Minnie is in the empty water trough. Why are you in there, Minnie? For a second, I thought she was in the one that had water in it, but she's not. Minnie, why are you in there? There she goes. That's how she does it. <laughs> Dinky, what is wrong with these goats? Hi, cows. <laughs> Lexi, Lexi. Lexi's not being a good dog. She knows better. Anyways, like I was saying, this is just a fun vlog where I get to go around and say hi to everybody. Lexi though, ran through the gate. You're not supposed to do that. Luckily, Lexi's really good with all the animals, so it doesn't matter, but it seems like she's on the move to find something. <laughs> Who knows? You better not be eating cow poop. Oh, nice stick. <laughs> hi, Moosey. I've come to fill your water. Oh, you want it filled? Guys, 
He literally has the hose on him. Can I have it back, please? Thank you, Moose. I am here to fill your water and I cannot fill. <laughs> you are massive. Sorry, Moose. We need to fill your water. Water time. Oh my gosh, it was going out this way. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Now it's filling. I need to remove that though. Thing is clearly doing nothing. This is an automatic water thing. It's doing nothing though. So the hose is really putting out any water because of you. You're kinking the hose. Oh my gosh, Moosey, come on. Get off of it. Look at that elbow. It's kinking the hose. There we go. That's filling and Moose is so unbothered. He is giant. I want to show you guys some tricks I got, but look how good the coop looks. It's so nice and white. I am going to be making this over and I'm going to put on the screen right now a little preview of what I want the coop to look like. You guys need to let me know what you guys think. And if you guys want to see me make over the coop, if you guys want me to video that is what I mean, because that is happening really soon. And I don't know if you guys want to see me make it over, but I'm so excited. You guys saw my inspo and I wasn't even going to share that, but I'm really excited. And I think you guys will be excited too. So let me know if you guys want to see that in a video because I totally will film me making the whole chicken coop over if you guys want to see that. Anyways, I got more chicks. I know that's becoming like a daily thing now because it is chick season at Tractor Supply. And I try to stay at a Tractor Supply for this reason during this time, but I just can't. I moved my leghorns into this little cage now that they're bigger. But I got more chicks. So I got Easter Eggers, which is right there. They are so cute and have the cutest, fluffiest face. I got a couple of Brahmas in there and then some Plymouth Rocks. I'll pull it, so hopefully that they're truly, really hens. So they are so cute. So yeah, we have a lot now. So I have 13 chicks now. So we've just made the flock bigger by 13 chicks. Lexi is having a field day. Who knows what she's doing? What are you doing, Lex? Jolene wants to eat you right now. <laughs> Jolene is not happy you are in here. Okay, let's check on our water situation. It is filling. Great, we'll let this continue to fill. I think I just heard my little yippy puppy. Come on, girl. What are you doing? Oh boy. Lexi, come on. Lexi, come. Oh boy, she's gonna hit out with the stick. Come on, Lexi. Hi, Piggy, how you doing? How are you? Mr. Pig is back to walking pretty good again. I told you guys in my last video about him that he was having some trouble again walking, but he was just sore for a couple days. Hi, Stewie. Little Piggy noses. Oh my God, it's like my favorite thing ever. Are these noises and the pig noses? So I wanted to tell you guys that we have a new pet that decided to join us here at the farm. We've never had this happen to us before where like an animal has come to our property and just kind of like decided to live here. So it's kind of fun, but lately I've been feeding the cats up front as well as in the back because I've just kind of been trying to transition them from just the back to being able to like eventually move us. But I wanted to show you something, but I wanted to show you this animal that's decided to come and maybe live at the farm. I'm not really sure what's going on with this situation, but it's been a while now. Hi, kitty kitty. Guys, doesn't she look, yes, she's a she, look exactly like our other black cats. The only difference that I can really tell with her is because she has a super fluffy tail. So this is the bowl of feed that I keep up front. And one day I noticed that there was a little black kitty coming around our house. And here's the black kitty. And can you tell, it looks so much like our black cats. There's Crazy right there. Crazy is really always up here. <laughs> they love each other. So one day with this little kitty right here, I saw a black kitty in my trash can and I thought it was one of my cats and I was like, why are my cats going through my trash can? Like we feed them so much, didn't make any sense. And then I came outside one day because I thought it was crazy and I went up to go feed this cat and it ran from me. And I was like, why are you running from me? And I realized that it is a little girl with a really fluffy tail. And that's the only way that I can tell the difference with her is because she has a really fluffy tail. I caught her eating um, out of the cat's food. So I was like, you know what, that's fine. But she's really nice. She was just really skeptical of us. So I figured that she had a home, but she's so petite. She's so sweet. And she will come back every single day and she will eat with all of the other cats. So it's really interesting. <laughs> And we've named her Fluffy. She's so funny, look at her with her mouth open. We've like loosely named her Fluffy because I'm sure she has a home, but she has a really fluffy tail. 
and when I talk about her, I have to have a name for her. So her name is Fluffy, and she really likes wet food, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her some wet food. All right, kitty cat. So I've actually showed her on my Instagram story before, and that just shows how long she's been coming around for now. But she kind of just eats with everybody, and she really loves this food, and she has the biggest bites. She has some really funny, like, quirky things about her. <laughs> she, when you pet her, she hisses at you, and it's a tr form of endearment for her, so she will just hiss at you all day long. She's a really nice cat, that's why I think she's someone's cat, maybe, I don't know, but she just, like, lives outside, and I, I just have seen her in my trash, and then we moved food up here for our other cats, so I'm glad that she's at least, if she's hungry, that's why I think she was going in my trash can, then that would be why she's doing what she's doing. So I'm just glad that she's eating cat food, and she comes around now all the time, and in the beginning she would not let us touch her or anything like that, and now she will literally let us pick her up. She's so, so sweet, and she's like literally so petite, she weighs like nothing. Here she is. She doesn't want to be picked up right now actually though because she wants to eat. And in the beginning, she did not get along with my cats at all, but now she is perfectly fine with them. She does not mind them at all. And yeah, we call her Fluffy. So yeah, we now have um, a new pet that likes to come and visit us. Don't know why, but I think now she knows that we have food here. So she just keeps coming over here and she's not over here all the time. She ironically is over here morning and night and I'm pretty sure that's because she knows that that's when we refill the food bowl. And I don't know where she goes during the day. Over some weekends I will see her like just hang out like underneath my vehicle. So sometimes she's there but she's always around now. But she does leave here and there where all my cats like they stay here besides Domino. We don't even need to discuss that. <laughs> So yeah, we have this new little cat who's been here living with us, I guess. I don't know where her family is. I don't know if she has a family. But there's like cats all over. Like my neighbor's cats always come around here. Like obviously my cat goes to my neighbor's house. So there's always just like cats everywhere, but never where like a cat has like decided to come every single day and maybe make us like a home base. It's really interesting. Also you guys, Scout is literally about to be four months old. Look how big she's gotten, you guys. She just like had a huge growth spurt and she randomly just got so big. Hi, Scout. Hi, Scout. Scouty. Scout also, she, <laughs> Lexi, do you wanna play? Go Lexi, go get it. Oh my goodness. So Scout is crated during the day while we're gone. Also, Bama is no longer crated during the day. He has ranked up to elite good dog status. All my dogs are crate trained for a reason just in case if they ever got sick or anything and they needed to be crated or if we had to board them for any reason they need to be crated it's just good so that they don't ever get nervous or anything like that if they are put in a position where they have to be crated but typically i don't like them to be crated especially during the day i don't know like but at the same time it's for their safety and for all the dog's safety but he has advanced up they are going absolutely crazy and he's no longer crated but obviously scouty's crated and we do leave her a lot of the times unattended just for a little bit without the crate. But today we got home from work and Scouty was not in her crate. She learned how to bust out of her crate and luckily she didn't chew anything or do anything bad and all was well in Scouty world. But we were very proud that she was good but not proud that she got out of her crate. And these dogs are having a great time. Now in other news, this is really what my life looks like. We have Penelope who looks like a lord right there. And then cute Stella. Stella! Sometimes I look around while I'm sitting out in my backyard and I'm just like, what's happening? <laughs> we have dogs and puppies and a pig and then the cats everywhere. The cats are literally always running around, so it's really funny. Penelope! What are you doing? You done rooting up the yard for today? Look how dirty she is. Ever since she started rooting up the yard, she's become like 20 times dirtier because she's always in the dirt. So she needs a bath really soon and she should be shedding her winter coat <laughs> very soon. Are your eyes closed? Wake up! She's literally sleeping right now. But she should be shedding her winter coat very soon so that'll be a fun bath when we give her a bath. But she's so sweet, her eyes are literally closed. She's trying to nap. All right you guys, well I need to get back to working on this fence here and this new video that you guys will be seeing very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys are excited that we got a new little pet, maybe, I don't know, it's someone else's pet, so I shouldn't say it's mine. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. I don't know what's to come for it. Who knows? 
But all I know is that it's eating my cat's food and it's coming around every day. <laughs> So, if you guys liked today's video, if you guys thought the new little cat was super cute, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to. Are you guys? I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.